Right, then, it's a summer transfer window, so that means the shouty, angry, bearded bloke is going to be standing outside Old Trafford, giving you the rundown and telling you what's bullshit, what's real, and what could be absolutely bollocks. <laughs> Right then, where are we going to start? Let's start with that Dutch fella, Frankie, aka Frankie, because every time I write it in my phone, it auto-corrects it. That's annoying, isn't it? I'm going to have to save an unknown contact in my phone as Frankie de Jong. I'll be like, oh, do you know Frankie de Jong, Steve? No, I don't. I'm just sick of auto-corrects. Anyway, what's going on with Frankie de Jong? Another one where the saga has been going on for years. It's been about three weeks, hasn't it? Which is years in a transfer window. Look, I've got grey on my beard. Didn't have that when the, this saga started. Marco reported yesterday that United made our first bid of 51 million guaranteed and 17 million in other add-ons, with Ten Hag telling him that the new look side will revolve right around him. No, 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 let me stop you there, Steve. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends have taken over and gaming will never be the same again. They're the first to bring a true console level experience to mobile and there is no going back now. Raid's currently running a special Deliana chase event where you can unlock the amazing Deliana by just logging in. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and July the 20th and you'll get Deliana for free. That's it. All new players listen up once you're in game, enter promo code MYDELIANA to get your hands on everything. It's that simple. Get 50 XP brews to instantly get your legendary hero Deliana to the max level as well as a ton of silver. So this is the best time to get started in Raid. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to get $30 worth of bonuses now. Now this transfer makes all the sense in the world to me and it also makes a little bit of sense why this is kind of holding up some of the other deals that are going on in and around um, well, United, really. If he's the guy that Ten Hag goes, he's the guy. He's the midfield genius that's going to do everything I want in this team. And I'm not saying that's what I believe. I'm saying that if that's what Ten Hag believes, then, of course, getting this deal over the line is going to hold up every single other one of the deals. Because if he fails to get the guy, the one guy that he wants, he's got to, like, completely rejig his plans. If he's like, listen, we get him in, and we'll sort the other ones out. Now, this isn't to say that we're not working on other deals or that we shouldn't be working on other deals. But if he's going to be your star signing, that means he's your big money signing. And if you don't get your big money signing, that's going to affect the budget for the other deals. And that's why I think it makes sense that this one seems to be delaying all of the other ones that are going on at the club at the moment. Makes sense to me. Reports are Barcelona's financial situation. A Barcelona's financial situation is borderline hilarious. Every single year, like the way some stuff kicked off with Messi last year, the fact that they're like a billion in debt and they're like, eh, don't worry about it. They can do weird shit in a transfer window that other teams just don't get to go and do, including offloading the likes of Frankie de Jong. They're probably going to struggle to get a better player than Frankie de Jong in, but if they've just decided that, nah, we want a new shiny thing, we're going to go get a new shiny thing, and that's that. We're not going to bother keeping hold of this guy, we want all the shiny things. I can see him being pushed out the door. I can see Manchester United being the ones that want to bring him to him. Am I worried that he seemingly doesn't want to come? Yeah, I am. I can't say I'm not. But is it just his preference is to stay at Barcelona or is it an abject refusal to come to United? Because those are two different things. Ah, we've got to do a rating here, haven't we? Ooh. It's early in the window. But I feel like we're going to kick this off with a... Six out of ten. Get that out of the way. Six out of ten for the first one of the transfer window. Must be on fucking drugs. I feel it. I feel like we're trying to make it happen at least. That's why I give it more than 50-50. But I can't give it more than six out of ten. It's certainly nowhere near a ten out of ten, is it? 95% done like fucking Gerard Romero says. That was crazy the night you said it. As you typed it and hit send, everyone went, it's a bit fucking strong, isn't it? Next up, Darwin Nunes. The old Uruguayan, 22, Ben Feature. Um, so United are, are trying to hijack a Liverpool move. Hang on, wasn't he coming to United? Didn't they jack our, hijack our move? Is this like hijackception? What the fuck is going on here? It's like a Mexican standoff of some sort with a Uruguayan and a, and a Portuguese. So United are apparently looking to hijack the move for Darwin Nunes. There's reports coming out saying that there's been meetings with Nunes' agent, Jorge Mendes or George Mendes, in, um, in Portugal. Now, let's not forget, George Mendes is Ronaldo's agent. George Mendes is 
I don't know, maybe in the Jesse Fute business plan, he was like, do you know what? If we're going to make money on a consistent basis as a football representative company, maybe in our hindsight, we should have more than one fucking client. So you can't just be like, Manchester United, I'm meeting Darwin Nunes' agent. Yeah, they are, but are they talking about Darwin Nunes or one of the 7,000 other fucking players that he has? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? You don't fucking know. That is what we call a fucking stab in the dark. Andy Mitten, who is well worth listening to, said... All of the talk about Nunes is very much agent-led at the moment. And you can see that. Like, this happens all the time in Portugal. I stand here, get shouty, and I'm talking about the same fucking names. And the same ones here. A Bowler. Who's he? Right? Friday morning, A Bowler are coming out and saying that a deal between Benfica and Liverpool is practically sealed. Liverpool are going to pay 68 million, rising up to 85 million, right? Are they, though? I don't know. Maybe. At the end of the day, there's fuck all we can do about it. If he wants to go to Liverpool, go to fucking Liverpool. It didn't make all the sense in the world about him coming to United anyway. And as we've seen, if we're going to spunk 78 million on Frankie de Jong, I don't see us spunking the same sort of money, rising to 85 with add-ons, for Darwin Nunes. If you do spunk 85 million on Darwin Nunes, do you think Cristiano Ronaldo's going to sit on a bench while your new shiny 85 million pound thing is going to be sitting there playing football? I don't fucking think so. And does that mean that Ronaldo becomes a problem because he won't play second fiddle to someone. Well, yeah, clearly. Which is why you've got to try and figure out what the fuck you're going to do because he can't play every single minute. And I also don't think that he's going to sit on the bench. So you have to find a happy medium where he's probably going to have to play in 90% of your Premier League games and 0% of the fucking Europa League games, probably. Although knowing Ronaldo, he's like, there's another competition I could break some records in. Put me in, coach. So... This could go all over the fucking show. Like I said, wouldn't be shocked to see a Calvert-Lewin or a Tammy Abraham or someone of that kind of ilk. And all you fucking Twitter dicks that are just going to start clipping me up saying, lowering standards FC, let's get Tammy Abraham in. No, you're not listening to the nuances of what I'm saying here, are you? There's ways to manage the squad. You can't just sign 25,000 world-class fucking players because you can only pick 11 at a time. And the ones that aren't playing, they see their ass, they spit the dummy out, they start getting on the phone to the agent, and before you know it, I've got to stand out here telling you that they want to fucking go and give it a fucking 9 out of 10 because they're going to. Darwin Nunes to United then. <laughs> Looks like a load of old rhubarb at the minute, doesn't it? I can't give it zero. There's clearly been some sort of interest. I'm going to give it a fucking uno out of 10. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, what the fuck has come to this? Now, I... Last week I said United could probably just go and get anyone and it improves our midfield and I'm regretting saying that because someone's fucking listened, aren't they? Someone's gone, hey, hang on, isn't he fucking like double mega injury prone as well? How's it? Oh, hang on, never mind. Talk sport. Fuck it off, lads. Fucking talk sport. Next you'll be saying scrawled on the shitter in fucking feces as a source. So United are apparently seriously interested in signing Oxlade Chamberlain's fucking are they, right? So, Oxlade Chamberlain is said to be desperate to leave Liverpool after only starting nine Premier League games this season. Yeah, get him signed up, lads. Played about as much as Matt did. If Liverpool are willing to accept a knockdown fee of 10 million, the Red Devils would be seriously interested in bringing Oxlade Chamberlain across the North West. Says who? Have they even put their fucking name to this? File that one in Shut Up You Absolute Sausage. Zero out of ten. Next up, Anthony, right winger. Now, this one gets people excited because he's a, a very good footballer and he's an exciting footballer. What are they saying? Gold Brazil. Oh, for fuck's sake. Thought we were going to get some sources here. Gold Brazil. Brathil. Claim that Anthony's agents have travelled to Europe to negotiate with United. Okay, I could see that. Reports claim that there's a mutual interest between United and Anthony in a potential move this summer. The purpose of the trip is to accelerate and perhaps close the possible deal between the player and the Manchester club. The purpose of the trip is to accelerate and perhaps close. I'm going to start saying that when I go to Greg's. The purpose of this trip is to accelerate and perhaps close the purchase of two sausage rolls. The proposed fee is about 50 million quid. Now... Anthony, 50 million quid, I like that. Is it the desperate, desperate position we think it is? When you've got the likes of Garnacho coming through, there is a big question mark over Marcus Rashford. You do have a Langer, you've got Ahmad, you've got Palestri. These guys aren't obviously on the level of Anthony, but is this a position that you can park while you fix the clear gaping hole, I know, in the fucking middle of the park? United need to be better defensively next year. 
we will score goals. You have got goal scorers in the team. I think we've got to focus on getting people in who can stop the goals coming in that way before you start focusing on the goals going in the other way. So, Anthony to Brazil, this could be... It's the return of keeping tabs FC, isn't it? United are keeping tabs on him. If his agent's flying over with the purpose of fucking accelerating and potentially closing, but United are just keeping tabs on him. And I will ask again, what the fuck is a tab? What is a tab? Yes, I have a tab at Greg's. Yes, I have a tab at Greg's, right? I, and I know you knew that. And yes, I have a tab at Pizza Hut. It's, it's different. It's the different way it works. I put my credit card in like a glass and they, they... Right. But how do you keep a tab on a player? Are we going to put together a starting 11 of the players that we're keeping tabs on by the end of the window? Anthony starts right wing. Anthony to United. At the moment, are the links 1 plus 1 equals 12? He's coming from Ajax. The ball fella who's in charge comes from Ajax. United need a right winger. Is it too easy of a, a convenient connection to make? And does it mean it's complete and utter rhubarb? I don't want to say zero. I mean, and I like the fact there's not a lot of leaks coming out, to be honest with you. I do like the fact there's not a lot of leaks coming out. And I think it's because it's all fucking changing there. But, you know, what do I know? Answer the United. It's not a zero. But it's a one out of ten. Dan Juma to United, and this is according to the MEN. This is an interesting one because I do actually have some information on this one. Here's what the MEN is saying. Dan Juma has refused to close the door on reports linking into a move to Manchester United, insisting he has unfinished business in England. The Evening News understand the club are keeping tabs. Fuck off! Dan Juma, left wing. There we go. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We've nearly got a forward line. The club are keeping tags on him ahead. Tabs. T not tags. Tabs. Tabs. Ahead of the summer transfer window officially opening but a move as things stand remain unlikely this is a, just a fucking nonsense like player refuses to say no I will not go there I'm not sure Dan Juma's a United fan I think that would be going too far but I do think he would love to play for United I think United are one of like yeah I'd love to play for Barcelona or Real Madrid or Paris or United he's a professional footballer of course you would want to play for United like, some won't I guess but fuck them most players would right I think it's uh I think it's McQueen that come out and said 99% of players 99.9% .9 of players want to play for United and the other 1% 0.1% are liars something that I don't think there's anything in United and Dan Juma I reckon I might have had a, a sniff or have been yeah there's actually something in that if uh, if that was the case so I'm going to have to say listen hell of a fucking player absolutely him coming to United doesn't make a lot of sense with the amount of like left fucking wingers that we've kind of got definitely a good player if you move Sancho over to the right and you don't believe Marcus is going to come back, then yeah, Dan Juma makes a hell of a lot of sense. And he's been sensational in La Liga, and we know La Liga players translate very well to the Premier League. Uh, and if you don't, I did a video on it, go and look at it. But there's nothing in this. So, not saying I won't have him, but I am saying they're not having him. So, uh, 0 out of 10. It's a load of bollocks. Ibrahim Sangar, PSV, central midfielder, baller, MEN. Why are we fucking using the MEN again? Jesus fucking Christ. They claim Sangar and Ten Hag know each other well from their days in the Eredivisie. What does that mean? They had a piss next to each other. Lads, do better at your job. Playing in the Premier League is not only a dream of mine, this is Sangar saying this, I think, but the dream of every footballer. That is the biggest and most important league in the world. So you saw that and you went, fuck it, link him at United. Now, yeah, of course United would... Would he play for United? Yeah, he's fucking quality. Would he translate well to the Premier League? Yeah, I reckon he would. He's got all the attributes to do so. This doesn't mean we're in for him, lads. Do better. Fuck's sake. Zero out of ten at the moment, though. And I'd like to be able to tell you in a couple of weeks that there's some movement on that. But like right now, it's fucking zero out of ten. You dick. <laughs> Last one. Didn't Jay get in trouble for this this week? Wesley Fofana. What did he say, Steve? I think he said he wasn't worth eight million. Play that clip. Fuck it. <laughs> if he comes to United, it would be him and Phil Jones vying for that sixth yeah. place in the centre-back list. Yeah. Like, that would be crazy. And if that fee was around €8 million, Euros, I'd still be like, is it worth the miver? Yeah. £80 million, you may as well set fire to £80 million quid in the car park. Now, let's be honest. If Oxlade-Chamberlain's worth 10 i am going to say Jay's wrong. Wesley Fofana is worth £8 million. <laughs> £68 million, though. Fucking hell. RMC Sport are claiming that Chelsea and United are chasing him and Leicester have set an asking price of 68 million how's about we're not buying defenders off Leicester just as a fucking rule right from now on put that in the fucking bin 
Do I think United are in, in for Fofana? No, I don't. I think we'd be fucking bonkers. Listen, that would make him our most expensive signing this summer. Do we need a centre-half? Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. We do. We do. But you pulled your fucking face at Schlotterbeck for 20 million. You want to go buy Wesley Fofana for 68 million pounds? No. And also, isn't he like made of plastic? Isn't he like more fucking injuries than he's had fucking appearances? It's not a good sign, lads. Not a good sign. Do better. I'm talking to the scouting department at United if this is true, but uh, just to people who make up transfer lies in general, do better. Come up with better lies, yeah? Transfer, review, numero uno of the summer window. In the can. We've, uh, don't know how to sign anyone yet. Six out of ten was the best you're getting, and even that could go tits up. Couple of zeros. I was good, though. I was good. See you next week.